If you like it, please subscribe. Nine and his grandpa went to the library to study the topic of the relationship between the cats and the monarchs in Russia. Here's what they learned. First, we're traveling into the year 1663 when the Tsar Alexei Mikhailovich was the ruler. Here's his modest little apartment. Tsar Alexei Mikhailovich had a nickname the Quiet Tsar. And the reason for that because he was actually a very kind man. One of his passions were the cats. And to prove that, there is the first portrait of the cat of the Tsar drawn by a very famous artist at the time. 1724, the Peter the Great is in charge of the country. Here's Peter, and here is his famous cat Vasily, or Vaska, that Peter brought from one of his multiple travels from Holland. Peter the Great contributed greatly to the development of Russia by building the access to Europe through the northwest part of the country. And Vasily? became the famous cat. In 1745, the daughter of Peter the Great, Elizaveta Petrovna, took over the throne. Here she is in front of her tiny apartment. She was not really that fond of cats, but she was horrified by mice that lived there in abundance. So she issued the order to bring 30 of the best male cats, Mausers, from the city of Kazan. Hey, here is nowadays, this is the city of Kazan and the actual monument to the cat. Apparently they had the best Mausers there. Let's go back into history, 1754, Catherine II. Catherine II, in her tiny little apartment of 365 rooms, was not the friend of the cats at all. But she decided to obey the tradition split the cats into two categories. Some, for enjoyment, mostly Russian blues, lived upstairs. And some, the hard-working mousers pictured here, they were put on duty to protect the palace from the invasion of mice. Some of those kitties, they're still on duty today, and we'll tell you about them in our next video. So if you see a stray kitty today, try to give it a good home. You never know, the ancestor of this kitty could have been the cat of the greatest Tsar.